Anyone in Asia? Assume it is your job and your moment. 
hate empathy, reject passivity. All right now. Because like David in 2 Samuel, when he heard of it, he sent Joab and all the army, the mighty men, and he told them to be strong and let us show ourselves courageous for the sake of our people and for the cities of our God, and may the Lord do what is in his sight. Amen. Amen. Now in Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 30, it says, I searched for a man among them who would build up the wall and stand in the gap before me for the land, so that, so that, so that I would not destroy it, but I found no one. Number two says, speak out. Sign in the midst of sin is a sin. Be courageous. Fear God, not man. Right. Amen. Speak the truth and love. Well, Proverbs 27 states that better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. And Proverbs, Proverbs 31 tells us to open your mouth for the mute and for the rights of all the unfortunate. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the rights of the afflicted and needy. First Peter chapter 3 states, But sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts. Always be ready to make a defense to anyone who will ask you to give an account for the hope that is in you yet with gentleness and reverence. Now number three states, stand strong. Don't give in when you are challenged, attacked, or criticized. Remember Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 18 and 19 states, Now behold, I have made you today as a fortified city and as a pillar of iron and as the walls of bronze against the whole land to the kings of Judah to his princes, to his priests, and to the people of the land. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you. For I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. First Corinthians 15, verse 58 says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, Knowing that your toil is not in vain in the law. Also, Peter chapter 5, 8 through 9 says, Be of sober spirit. Be on the alert. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. But resist him. Be firm in your faith. Knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren. Who are in the world. Now, number four says, stay humble. Be diligent against pride. Get the law out of your eye. Don't think less of yourself. Think of yourself less. All right. All right. All right. Like in Psalm 14, 1 through 5, that the righteous smite me in kindness and reprove me. It's all upon the head. Do not let my head refuse it, for steal my prayers against their wicked deeds. Also, First Peter chapter five says, "You younger men, likewise be subject to your elders, and all of you clothe yourself, humility toward one another. For God is opposed to the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, humble yourself." Under the mighty hand of God, Amen. and He may exalt you at the proper time, Say that. casting all your anxiety on Him, because He cares for you. Amen. Number five says, "Serve the King. Yes, Seek first His kingdom, yes, yes. His glory, yes. and His righteousness. Yes. Hope is eternal. Live for a greater reward." A greater reward. Yeah, amen, amen. For in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, it says, But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, that. and that's all it. these things will be added that's to it. you. That's it. 
Now, Mark Amen. chapter 10, verse 45 says, But even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve him, and to give his life a ransom for many. So God wants us to be steadfast in his word. Galatians chapter 5 says, Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free. Oh, but let me tell you, it's going to take some time. Amen. Because Second Thessalonians says, Brothers, don't grow weary in doing good. Let me tell you, brothers, we must pray. Pray all the time because in Ephesians 6.18, it says, pray to that end. Keep alert with all perseverance, making supplications for all the saints. Now, when we talk about trials, that's referred to James chapter 1, verse 2. And it says, my brothers and sisters, think of various tests you encounter as occasions for joy. Now, this is faith under pressure. So consider it a sheer difference when tests and challenges come at you from all sides. You know that under pressure, your faith is your faith is life. Your faith life is forced into the open and shows its true call. So don't try to get out of anything prematurely. Let it do its work so you become mature and well developed. Not deficient in any way. But in mind, it says, Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes, yes. Prayer Chronicles 16 11 says, Seek the Lord, and his strength seeks his presence continually. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, in order to overcome your trials and tests, you have to have faith. Amen. You must be committed. Say that. You must be devoted. Yes. Oh, yes. You must be dedicated. You must depend on God. Yes, say that. You must rely on God. Yes. You must trust in God. Oh, yeah, say that. So let's put it another way. You must be unhesitating, <laughs> unanswering, All right, now. unyielding, uncompromising, right. and unflinching. Yeah. Now, faith is described in the dictionary as a strong belief in God or in the doctrines of a religion based on spiritual apprehensions rather than proof. In the world, many people view their destiny as their faith. I'm talking about F-A-T-E. Or as the saying goes, whatever will be, will be. But faith, F-A-I-T-H, it's a gift given to men after they have put their trust in God. And this faith can change your direction on life. Amen. So here's the question I ask today. Are you faith F-A-T-E driven? All right now. All right now. Or are you faith F-A-I-T-H driven? All right. Let's talk about patience. That's a tough one. Yes, Lord. That's right. James chapter 4 says, But let patience have its perfect work, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. Patience is not my strong shoelace. You know, if y'all threw patience at me right now, I couldn't catch it. Forgive me, Lord, I'm a work in progress. You see, patience only works when everything is going your way. The true test of patience comes when our rights are violated and we see our brothers and sisters being hurt or killed unjustly or when another car cuts us off the track. 